and welcome to the third episode of Youth Alive with Harvest TV. I'm your host Charlie Sam Babu. I'm so happy and I'm thankful for everyone those who are watching this program. I'm going to start with a question. Do you really want to come out of loneliness? This episode is going to help you. We are here to help for those who are going through loneliness. And for that we have a wonderful team called ICPF. They are ready, the team is prepared, best to give the best for you. But one thing, make sure don't leave the program. Watch it. Be blessed. Greetings to all the viewers in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Intercollegiate Prayer Fellowship, popularly known as ICPF, in association with the Harvest TV in its Youth Alive program, is presenting before you a series of episodes on the topic salt and light we have designed this program in such a way that it will benefit the viewers especially the youths the young people whom we address well to tell a couple of words about icpf at the outset the intercollegiate prayer fellowship has been formally established in the year 1980 and over the past 40 years it has spread out its wings to about 18 states in this country India as well as we have our presence in 19 countries of the world during the past 40 years the ICPF has impacted thousands of young lives who after their graduation has entered into varied fields varied vocations and wherever the Lord has placed them, they are bearing great testimony for Him. Apart from that, we have so many our former graduates who are serving the Lord in mission fields in different parts of India as well as in different parts of the world. Now, as I told, we our ministry is primarily focused towards the young people. ICPF is primarily envisioned to cater to the spiritual, moral, and ethical formation of young students as they study in the universities and colleges as we all know it's always ideal to catch people young so that we will be impacting a lifetime and that is why ICPF is focused on young lives and the results are obvious the success stories are many and it continues even today now in association with uh, the Harvest TV, ICPF plans to bring out a series of episodes to address the very different problems that is faced by young people. And this series, I am sure, will definitely encourage young people and uh, help them to identify their shortfalls and help them to identify wherein they need to mature up as they grow and with that end in view we are initiating this program and the first program in this series is a talk show on salt and light and the topic that we have selected is you are lonely as we are all aware of the present circumstances through which we are passing in this pandemic time hundreds of people thousands of people are experiencing this loneliness their normal way of life is totally cut off they can't move freely and those people who are secluded in quarantine they undergo terrible times and loneliness is therefore a very relevant subject today even if I mean there are so many young people despite the fact that they move out with a lot of friends even then they are lonely deep in their heart they feel a vacuum an emptiness they are lonely and it's a very dangerous thing the consequences are seen you know how many young lives are lost every day people are young people they dare to take their own life because they can't face reality and therefore this particular topic is the need of the day and we are going to hear on this particular topic shortly. 
Over to the moderator of this program, Brother Blessand Raju, who is serving ICPF as its staff counselor in Trivandrum district. Hello everyone. We live in a world more connected than ever, yet we are more lonelier than ever before. Today we will talk about loneliness. What is loneliness? It's a state of mind where people go into a state of lonely period isolated from everyone else. It is so much an issue in our society that in few countries they have minister for loneliness. A BBC report recently states that there are people from various ages across generations who face loneliness. There is a common stereotype that only the old face loneliness but it is wrong. BBC report states that the youths from the age group of 16 to 24 they face loneliness more than anyone else. So loneliness is a common disease uh, that everyone goes through. But how can we overcome it? Today we will be discussing about the topic you are lonely. We have two young minds with us to tell us about the issue of loneliness today. Today we have Sharon Thomas who is a final year bachelor of dental surgery uh, student studying in Toronto Medical College and we also have Binoy Joy who is pursuing his higher studies in Zoology University College Trivandra. We welcome you to our show. Thank you so much for coming and uh, being a part of our show. Thank you so much. Today we would like to discuss about loneliness and uh, your take on loneliness. Okay, Binoy, can you tell me what is loneliness and what exactly is loneliness referred to? First of all, from a psychological perspective, I would like to make a point that sitting alone or uh, being alone is not the same as experiencing loneliness. That is, I could sit alone with a hundred people for many hours and still feel the feeling of loneliness, but I could sit alone for hours and doesn't feel the feeling of loneliness. That is, I'm making the point that loneliness is something that is mentally experienced while being alone is something physical. But this feeling of loneliness is something venomous and if not dealt with properly, could end up uh, our life tragically. I would like to mention a survey which was uh, published by the World Health Organization who in the year of 2018 which was based on the analysis of uh, suicide reasons of the past 10 years that is from 2008 to 2017. It stated that almost 63 percentage of the suicides all around the world, okay. the millions of suicides, 63 percentage of them the reason was uh, chronic loneliness. Is you it? have to think how serious it is. Okay. 63 percentage of suicides all, all around the world okay. just because of loneliness. So I'm just making the point that there is something called loneliness. It's not a something like a myth. It is something true and if not properly dealt with our lives could end up tragically. Okay, so any person can experience loneliness. That is what you mean to say. Exactly. Okay, all right. Yeah, Sharon, I just wanted to know, no, from your perspective, uh, how? What is the so psychological impact of a person who is lonely? Um, many of us uh, dread to be alone. Yeah. Like if you want to know how eager we are to avoid it, you have to consider a scientific study in which uh, they were uh, people were asked if they want to have electric shocks given to them, okay. or if they want to be alone just for 15 minutes. Believe it or not, many people chose electric shocks. So uh, that much we dread being lonely. Um, and so if you want to know the factors contributing to loneliness, there are many external factors like mm, being uh, moving into a new location, okay. uh, physical isolation, uh, divorce or death of someone significant in someone's life. And uh, it's also additionally it's a symptom of a psychological disorder called depression. Um, in many internal factors like low self-esteem, people with low self-esteem tend to have low confidence levels and okay. they consider themselves unworthy of attention and so they tend to be uh, isolated and this leads to chronic loneliness, okay. especially during this coronavirus outbreak. Before many of us were used to going out daily, either to college, to schools, to visit our loved ones or friends, to uh, stop all of that suddenly it is shattering to some of us. Okay. So public health actions such as social distancing mm. has made our lives uh, to be isolated and this can this leads to increased stress, anxiety and so 
people resort to uh, increased screen usage to escape isolation and boredom. But the truth is, uh, the more time we spend online and less time in contact, in time with person, with friends, this can is also a cause for increased loneliness. And studies have found that there is a significant association between isolation, loneliness and poorer mental health outcomes. These are all causes for mortality. Okay, Sharon, in your conversation you just mentioned about the present pandemic situation and all that. Uh, and you, you by yourself are into a medical profession uh, there are doctors who recommend 14 days 28 days uh, to be quarantined uh, so how does a person cope up with this 14 days 28 days and uh, how does it impact him in an, as an individual can you just uh, state uh, if, if you would like to so if you have been quarantined in your room because you have COVID-19 uh, many uh, there are many uh, reasons that you can feel a momentary surge of panic okay. because um, you are cut off from the rest of your friends your family not only really just for days sometimes for weeks or months so um, but the good news is being alone is a skill and like every other skill we can get better at it with practice um, instead of dreading being alone we can lean into it we can find new ways to do things we can learn uh, something new every day we can uh, set new goals, okay. we can enjoy our hobbies, uh, whether it be reading, writing, stories or journals, we can um, do photography, mm, we can draw, paint, we can uh, play musical instruments and there are many, um, uh, many hobbies we can explore, we can discover hidden talents and m most important is we, c we should give ourselves hope and love. Uh, it's always our choice whether to let upsetting or discouraging thoughts to enter our minds. Always choose to give your mind the best thoughts, thoughts of peace and happiness. And um, you can set new goals and you have to spend some time to uh, learn some, uh, what makes us happy and alive. You know, distraction is the best method to keep our mi minds busy and we can find ways to connect with others despite all the circumstances. Um, there are many platforms like Zoom app and there are many um, WhatsApp video calls. We can do that we, if you want to connect with our friends or families. If at all we feel anxious or uncertain about our lives or the people around us, we can um, turn to God for help. I mean, this time we can use to draw more close to God. We can pray, read and meditate the Bible. You know, God is willing to hear from you. He wants to uh, listen to what you, uh, what you have to say to Him. Be it your daily struggles, joys, fears your frustrations. Mm -hmm. You can rest in his presence and tell them all your troubles and he will provide a way for you. Okay, so you mean to say that there are a lot of activities that we can do in this 14 days, 28 days quarantine period or whether if, if a person is lonely, there are a lot of activities to be indulged into, right? Okay, so I just wanted to ask Binoy, uh, can you state uh, the harsh realities of loneliness? Loneliness has been found to increase the stress and uh, impair sleep and thus harm the body. Loneliness is also uh, responsible for high levels of depression. I remember reading an article on the New York uh, Times magazine, which was uh, the uh, April issue of the present year, and it was a uh, issue which was which dealt with loneliness, a complete issue which dealt with loneliness. And in that, I, while I was reading it, a thing that caught my eye was a survey which was based on a hundred lunatic centers in all across the American country. So it stated that in people who are in the lunatic centers, 43 percentage of them were once people who had a normal state of mind but turned insane due to extreme uh, loneliness or chronic loneliness which finally led to depression and thus the change of mind. So we had to think how critical it is. Not only this, there are some other factors too. It creates uh, insomnia or lack of sleep. It creates a tendency to binge watch movies and shows. Um, also, also a decreased appetite and many other things. But the, maybe we can feel that, okay, uh, decreased appetite and many things. We can feel, oh, these are some small symptoms. But the main thing is, it's not the symptom, but it's where it finally leads to. Okay. It may all start in this kind of small uh, symptoms, but finally it may lead us to extreme depression and thus you know, one, once a person reaches the level of chronic loneliness, he receives frequent impulse to take away his own life. Okay. Because once a person reaches the level of depression, he, he has continuous thought in his mind that his life is worthless and meaningless. What you mean to say is after a certain point of time, uh, he tends to commit suicide, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So that's what, once a person reaches this uh, final stage of loneliness. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
uh, finally i would like to ask you and to you know to uh, let our audience know uh, to our viewers who are watching us uh, just wanted to uh, ask you something from a biblical perspective you know uh, you both are uh, going to churches you are indulging in youth activities and all so i just wanted to know the biblical perspective or how do you view uh, loneliness from a biblical perspective uh, so can you both just if if you both mention it will it will be lovely for our viewers who are watching us so before jesus ascends to heaven he tells his disciples that he is with us always even to the very end of age in our lives we will have many ups and downs in our lives as many experiences yes. but the words i am with you it's like a safety net it protects us from falling into despair so even we have many ups ups and downs as many experiences in our life the promise of his presence limits how far down we can go so even if we feel we are in a free fall when people or things around us have let us down uh, whenever we remember the promise of him never leaving nor forsaking us and that he is with us even to the very end of age our perspective radically changes so instead of looking at our sur surroundings and so feeling bad about ourselves we can look to god for help because in bible it says he rides on clouds to come to your help and not only is he with us he wants to hold your right hand he wants to guide you and counsel you there are many examples in the bible of people who went through loneliness one such example is moses moses spent like long 40 years in the desert he went from being a prince of egypt to a shepherd in the desert so but god was busy preparing him in those 40 long years yes true in those desert moments he was preparing him to be that man who would one day go into the courts okay. face the pharaoh and say to him let my people go and god was busy preparing him to be that man who would one day lead more than 6 lakh people in the desert to find food water wildlife plant life sleeping arrangements etc so god was preparing him uh to be that man who wouldn't take the next step okay. without god's presence with him so in god himself testifies that there was no one on earth as humble as my servant moses and god talked with moses face to face as a man talks with his friend so just as with moses god is busy in our lives in our desert moments he is busy in our lives to prepare something great great for us you know you take on biblical perspective to speak from the biblical perspective i think the life of joseph is a great example for us on how to overcome a uh, temptation of loneliness when we look into the life of joseph we see that he was loved more by his father than all his brothers and sister and we read that he that he even had a special robe by his father okay so he was loved more by his father but in this was the state of joseph initially but as we say as the time goes on as the life goes on as the story goes on we see that joseph was so, uh, put into an empty well sold to the egyptians and then he was in the house of the pharaoh he was in the jail and the things started to go down and down and down maybe uh, creating more and more the state of loneliness we can understand the depth of loneliness joseph encountered during that time only if we know how much he had received the uh, attribute of love in the initial stages of life he was a person who was loved by everybody's brothers initially but after the dreams the story changed but when he was falling into the state of temptation mm, okay. if there was any other person uh, who was in the in the same level of joseph a worldly man he would have surely committed suicide or maybe fallen into the chronic state of loneliness okay. because there was no one to love but we see that joseph overcame the temptation of loneliness how did he do that in the book of genesis chapter 39 verses 2 we read that the lord was with joseph and he became successful My friends the thing that matters is not the depth of loneliness you encounter daily in your life it's an, the thing that matters is whether the lord is with you so my uh, friends whenever the temptation of loneliness come into your life just trust in the lord if joseph a person of your age of our age if he was able to overcome the temptation of loneliness he had uh, no fa- uh, parents with him he had no brothers with him he went to a strange land as the bible says if he was able to overcome the temptation of loneliness by trusting in the lord let us also trust in the lord and overcome loneliness and may god, may god help us for that okay thank you so much uh, for the wonderful uh, biblical perspective that you both gave us you know from moses life of moses uh, he went through a lonely state of period in his life for 40 days in the wilderness as you mentioned and uh, you stated joseph uh, joseph also went through a lonely period where everyone rejected him uh, you know that's a wonderful exam- uh, example that you both uh, gave us from the bible and i think uh, to all our viewers we, we need to take this example in our life 
uh, there will be periods in our life where we'll we'll feel lonely there won't be anyone with us uh, to help us or to guide us or to talk to us or to spend lovely time with us but uh, as an individual how i approach my life that's more important uh, to each one of us thank you binoy joy and sharon thomas for giving us your valuable time and coming on our show and giving your valuable perspectives on the issue of loneliness thank you so much we appreciate your time with us thank you so much it is important to help people who feel lonely to come out of their lonely state and to help them and to nurture them and to care them in their isolation period the state of loneliness is a very uh, big issue that we as a society are facing and as individuals we each one of us face but it is very important to understand as a church it's our responsibility to take care of an individual who is in isolation or who feels lonely every person uh, who feels lonely it's his responsibility to come out and to involve and to mingle with church members uh, with friends with uh, relation family members and to each one of the person in the society but as we look into bible we see there are a lot of verses that gives us hope that gives us uh, expectations of our future uh, in psalms 23 verse 4 says even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for you are with me that is our greatest hope that our lord is with us and he will never ever leave us and forsake us but the greatest loneliness that man could ever face in this world was by our lord jesus christ as he came to this world he lived in this world for 33 and half years and on the final moments on the cross of calvary he said to his father eli eli lama sabachthani my god my god why have you forsaken me that is the most lonely state of mind a person can go through and it was only jesus christ who went through that lonely state of mind and jesus overcame it so my dear friends my viewers i would like to encourage you and i would like to exalt you if you are in a lonely state of mind wherever you are in your home or in your sofas wherever you are sitting right now let me tell you if you are lonely if you feel alone in this world there is lord jesus christ for you to help you in your loneliness and to overcome from it thank you god bless you isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says so do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand who said that the heavenly father said that so those who have any questions regarding to the discussion what you had feel free to talk to us we are more than happy we are more than happy to pray for you and to listen to your problems i know right now you might be thinking is there a worship time yes we do have a worship time for that harvest tv has brought a wonderful blessed awesome worship album called the new york blessings brought to you by bonnie antrus a man who have a great vision a great dreamer so i want everybody to stay tuned and prepare yourself to be in the presence of god let the holy spirit move in your place Oh
sua grazia su di te o chi io stasse con agrado e sempre ha shalom
What a blessed worship we had. Our God is a great God. He is a God who sent blessing to his people. Time to say bye to you for now. Make sure if you have any questions, look at the information on the screen. Please feel free to connect with us and we are more than happy to help you. May the great God bless each one of you.